23, it's me, Matty G. Um, we've got an interesting end to the season. <laughs> we've just lost our first game in an absolute age uh, against Worldstone. Um, yeah, I mean, just just take a look at that win, that winning run, uh, and it sent us on a title charge to the top. Uh, we are top at the moment. We could possibly clinch it in the next two games we're going to play today we're only going to play two games we're going to split this up two games today two games in the next episode and the end of season review so with that in mind let's have a look at the table here's the table in all its glory we're definitely in a playoff position just that's confirmed it's been confirmed for a while uh ebbs fleet have literally clawed their way into this position at the moment um pretty much win for win loss for loss i would say draw for draw but we're not been drawing any um they are literally clinging on to the last breath of possibilities for themselves uh, we need a win and we just need them to slip up and we're already crown champions um now saying that we could lose four games in a row here and find ourselves out of that position but we want to get automatic position we want to win so we're going to do our darndest to do it and we are doing our darndest to do it as we'll have a look at the transfers next so two more players have left it's uh tell and or gibbons and john powell they're both gone one for a small fee one on a free we have got transfers waiting to go out um, incoming, we got Joe Wright. Uh, he's a goalkeeper. There's a reason for that. Players set to go out already is um, the goalkeeper Prince Andoki. I managed to end up with 115k, and it's deal's been done. He's joining them at the end of the season. Kelly, Jake Kelly, been a brilliant service to us on the right. He's going to Torquay for a k. Uh, it's not overly uh, a great amount, but he's going anyway. We've got offers in for Callum Easley that we've all accepted. Um, if we, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how we can see those offers. There we go. Uh, Three thousand. So um, he's just got to join any one of those teams, and um, he'll be leaving us. Uh, we've also got Josh Robbins, uh, Robinson, one of our top centre backs. Um, here's a reason for that, and we'll get into that in a moment. But um, yeah, we've had. 20,000 was rejected. They withdrawn at 12,000 because we offered asked for a bit more. And Southend and Crawley, 22 grand. So, um, yeah, he could be well on his way. We're just waiting for a decision on that. Lewis Bron, um, he's pretty much just trying to make a decision whether or not he's going to go to Slough 4K. And uh, Michael Abdu, he's actually set to go to Farnborough on a free. So, it's clearing up some of the wage... And we have been spending it. So we've got a few that we can, uh, we're just waiting on here. Um, there's a lot of free players that have become available at the end of the contract. So we put in small offers and yeah, we're basically on our way to signing them. Um, confirmation, that's a confirmation. I believe that means we've got him. I'm not sure. But as you can see, there's plenty to go through. Load of defenders, which is why we're getting rid of some of the defence. Um, a few midfielders. The one that we're really looking forward to is Seb Ferdinand. Uh, he comes in from Arsenal. His wingers, which is desperately what we're going to need. Um, and Russell Denny, another winger. These two here are kind of desperately needing. Because Asante will not accept a contract offer. Um, so he's going to be going back to his new parent club, um, even though we've offered them 200k to re-sign him because um, well, I just think uh, although we sold him, we, we, we now want him back. The fans want him back. It's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, we, we're having to look for new life over him. Um, obviously, we've got another striker possibly coming in and uh, another counter-attacking midfielder. So yeah, I think pre-season... He's pretty much done before the season's already ended. We're looking in very good shape. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nice wave budget of 35 k there to spend. But uh, most of it's taken up here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, we're going to jump straight into the first game. And hopefully, 
this is going to be the first game with a lot of excitement. Here we go. We're up against Bath. They've lost their last two. Um, so let's hope we can get out there and do something with them. Um, we have got Asante back on the bench for this one. A uh, little bit of a jig around in team. You can see we're top of the table. We need a win. Win could secure it, especially if Epsi lose. So we'll be keeping an eye on that at half time. Um, but let's get into this. Come on. Let's go, Chesson. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> We've got to keep an eye on a couple of players. The fitness levels have dropped a little bit over the last few games. So we've got to keep an eye on a few. Uh, lovely move by us, apparently. But where's the highlights? Nearly 10 minutes in and no highlights so far. Come on, you highlights. We're starting to get a bit of XG going. Give us a highlight. Here we go, first highlight. And it doesn't look like it's for us. Oh dear. Um, oh, maybe it is. Casanova wins that ball nicely. Casey's there. Ransom's in the centre. Knocks it long. Williams is through on goal. Oh. Every shot counts, mate. Every shot counts. Get the goals. Get the goals. Let's get the title. Let's do it today. Do you know what I'm going to do? I do want to change this to the latest scores for the time being. Uh, where's Epps Fleet? They're nil nil. They're nil nil for the time being. I'm going to demand more. Uh, it may be wrong of me to do at the moment, but we need that goal. Come on. Yeah, I will deal with that at half time so you can shush. Come on, guys. Get the goal. It's Eco Scott with a throw. Into Ransom, back to Eco. He brings it out towards Bell. He runs towards the 18. Has a crack off the top of the corner. Oh, hits the corner of the woodwork. The adjoining post rattles as the ball runs out. Son of a gun. <laughs> Half time has come and has gone. Freddie Bell is absolutely shattered. I don't think we've got really anyone who can come in here. So what I am going to do is going to be real cheeky. I'm going to ask KC to play up there. And then we're going to bring Williams on in the heart of defence. Rakish is going to swap with Tyreek. And he's coming off and Asante's coming on. Here we go, second half. Epps fleet is still nil-nil and so are we. Come on guys. Let's get a highlight. Williams is over a short free kick to Casanova. Back into Ransom. Back to Williams. Williams long. Looking for someone. No one's there. Matthews clears up. Former player of ours as well. Ball goes out. Fur on the side there. Fernandez picks it up. Sven knocks the ball long. Williams should have the pace to get there. But Winterbottom's had to come out and hoof the ball up the pitch. They're playing a bit of a long ball game here. We don't mind that. Smith's there. He should have got his head on. Doesn't. He's playing a bit around like a loose cannon at the moment. This is one hell of a long highlight. And Fletcher's through on goal. Don't do it to me. Oh, and he puts it just wide. We do not need this. We need to give him, we give him a bit of encouragement. A bit of encouragement can always go a long way. As there's another highlight. Big long ball. He's got a big kick on him. Williams clears with a header, only as far as Fletcher to Fernandez. loses out, Ransom's there, Wright picks it up, looking to play a ball long, he does, Williams is through, get the goal this time son, and yes he does, 1-0, we're, we're winning, we're winning, is, is that the title, could that be the title winning goal, We've, it could be the title winning goal, Wright knocks it just here, over the top of the defender, Williams with his pace beats him, Keeper is badly out of position. Williams is able to put a little curl on it and whack it in the bottom right corner. It's a tight offside margin. How tight? It was onside. He's onside. He's not tight. Be quiet. So if we just give that a little pause, run down, looking for Ebb's fleet. They're still nil-nil. What does that do for us in the tables? That puts us 10 points clear with three games in hand. That gives us the title. That there gives us the title. I'm certain of it. Keep that latest score on.
Keep that latest score on. Keep that latest score on. We need to carry on this form. And Dartford, could you pick up a goal for us? Would be beautiful. I am going to make one more change. And we are going to take Rory off for LO3. Just to re beef up that central defence because they're getting a bit tiring. We do not need to concede a goal this late. Still looking at that Ebbs fleet. I am staring at that. I'm barely looking at the actual XG or the game as it goes on. Probably a bad idea. Long ball over the top. They're still trying it. Casanova to get it away. He goes for a long ball. Williams is quick, not that quick. Casey looks towards right, right into Williams. Williams with. Oh! That would have been a worldie of a goal. That was absolutely spectacular for a shot. Fair play to him. Ebb's feet is still nil-nil and we're approaching the last quarter of an hour. Come on, boys. Can we finish this one strong? Keep going. No injuries, no knackered. Ebbsfleet's just scored two goals out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. In a space of five minutes, they've gone from drawing to winning. That is such a shame. And now we've got to make sure that we do our part and carry on winning. Get your head on it, son. Asante's there. He knocks it over the top. Williams has had a pretty good game. The ball gets deflected. Keeper comes out and collects. Everyone's tired. Which is never great. Just keep your head on it. Do not concede. Do not concede. Ooh. The nerves are starting to set in. The last few minutes of the game. Dartford's pulled one back. Dartford's pulled one back. Come on, Dartford. Get another one. Get another one, Dartford. I don't think they did. We played fairly well in that game. It was another win. So it keeps us close to winning. Good win for us. Not the title. Not yet. Getting closer. Getting closer. Getting very close. We're still eight points ahead. Three games to go. Ooh three games to go eight points ahead we just need to keep winning that's all we need to do win so here's two of our signings set to come in we have curry curry i'm gonna call him curry maldini curry 18 year old center back um he's a breakthrough prospect he signed on the contract i believe we have the option to extend it by a year as well which is always good have a little quick look at him. This is a nice, solid little centre back. So um, yeah, definitely adds squad in the centre back positions, especially as good as they are. Harrison Dudek, 18-year-old midfielder, plays in that midfield role. Can play a attacking midfielder as well. He's now signed for us on the dotted line. Although for some reason we can't see all his stats, but um, that's just because he doesn't actually technically join us until the start of the next season. There's more to come. I just confirmed Josh Robinson has um, agreed a transfer deal. Um, he is going to Crawley, I believe, for 22000 um, Robinson, if we have a little click on him, you see he's a solid little defender. Really good little defender. And his, his ability is great. But he got, he got unhappy with all the talks with other people coming in. Uh, um, we had to cash in. So we did. And um, he's now leaving us, unfortunately. But this guy... Mika Ruzik, he's joining us. Um, he's, I believe, he comes in from Arsenal. Um, we've not got his full attributes here at the moment, but you can see he's not a bad little player. He plays in the middle, although he, he, you know, he can play right wing back as well. So uh, an unusual shape for him, but um, yeah, we, we can play him in all different positions good little work little, good little handy utility man and russell denny is now being confirmed as you can see russell denny is going to be joining us from chelsea um he's a little bit of a speedy demon there with a lot of technical and vision but um he's, he's going to be used more of a utility man uh, and and another cover for right wing hopefully we get the other guy and this is just going to be cover but um yeah that, that's kind of the idea now uh, his preferred foot is left footed so the idea is to try and train train him in this left position um, but yeah 
is signed on the dotted line, he'll be one of our players in the new year. Here we go. Chesson, Tombridge. Uh, Tombridge, I think it is. Yeah, Tombridge we're playing. Um, this is going to be a big one. A win here, no matter what the result, should be enough to secure us the title. A win. We need to guarantee a win here. And that secures us the title. It could all be wrapped up before the end of the season before the last episode of the season hopefully it will be let's get it on Ebb's fleet's down here against Welling and they're away which is great because we're at home and normally when we're at home we play really well first highlight it's Eco Scott to take it on to right loses out good fieldings there he's a former player of ours Right comes in, it comes battling back out as a bit of a ping pong. And that's away with the fairies. Ten minutes gone, one highlight, it was all us. Our XG is going up. Our possession is dominant, unbelievably dominant so. And um, they've got the first yellow card. And Welling have scored. Hey, if Ebb's Eb Eb fleet lose, I think, don't think we need anything, any real help. Um, but here we go. They have a free kick in a dangerous position. Bradley's over the ball. Swings it in. It's too high. It's too high. You keep swinging them in high. They're not going to worry us anytime soon. Come on, boys. I am going to demand a little more. I want a goal. I want one goal. Settle my nerves. Welling have just seen that. Welling's got a man sent off and they've conceded. I think Ebbsfleet are going to win their game in their game today. We need to do the same. We need to wrap it up here and now. It's not going to be done in the first half though. And we have a free kick. That'll be Casson over over the ball. He's going to swing it in. We've got no we've got no big lads in there at the moment. He's got it there, Cassie! Oh, Callum Cassie, surely one of the players of the season. Um, other than Casanova, I would say Cassie's probably been the most consistent. And he may have just won us the title. I don't go with the last goal scored. I go with the first. As long as they don't score and we win, even if it's 5-0, Cassie as the one that has sealed the title. Everything else will be roses. Until then, it looks like we've got another highlight. Goma takes a long ball forward towards Bennett. Tackle. Roberts knocks it in for the right. Bell. Motti. Hits a long ball over. Bells is through. Bells has sucked it in. 2 0 up. Kiss my backside, Ebb's fleet. We are going to be champions. Right here with the belt. I have no idea why that's coming on there. Get off my screen. I don't need you on there. Go away, you're interfering. Ebb's Fleet are drawing 1-1 still against a 10-man team. We're winning 2-0. We just need to make sure nothing happens. Roberts is going to be coming off. We're going to swap him for... I've got to swap him for someone. Uh, let's go Maury. We'll swap him off for Jay Williams. We'll drop Maury back into the defensive role. And Ball, Bell can come forward. And we'll confirm that. We'll get that Roberts off. He weren't playing the greatest of games. And uh, on the other card, we don't want to risk it. Not this far in. It's 62, 65 minutes in. Bell's looking a bit knackered now, even though I moved him forward. I may have to do something with that. Passing over with a header clear. Eco Scott as well. Only goes as far as Wagstaff. Fielding's playing out on the right there. Wagstaff gets taken out. Eco Sport perfectly. Eco Scott, sorry, perfectly. And here we go forward again with Monzi. Monzi. Asante. Long ball over the top. My strikers are quick, but they're not that quick. Ball comes back in. Again, we get it clear. Only as far as Fowler. Garb knocks it long towards Bennett on the wing. He's going to try to get past. He does. Easily. Too easily. But they fluff their lines and we're able to clear. Wright's now going to take it down the wing. And there's a foul. 
That is a foul ref. Where's the card for that one, referee? Right, let's jump into the subs. Um, what have we got left that we can do? We've got... Um, Bell is knackered. I am going to take a risk. I'm going to put right in for Bell. And then we're going to take Bell off for Bingham. Bingham has earned his slot, I'll tell you that much. Casanova pushes and drives, tries to get a ball through to Williams, doesn't work. Case is there to pick up the pieces. Big long forward towards Bells. Doesn't approve to anything. Edwards knocks it over the top towards Benning. Bennett. They're pushing hard for, any, for a goal back, a way back in, and they nearly get it. All that Brian had to do was stick a foot out. I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> right, one more sub left. We're going to make that sub now. Uh, we're going to take the big guy Casey off. Just so he's not injured. We don't want to ever end up with an injury. As best we can, we try and avoid that. Let's check what Ebb's fleet are doing. They're still drawing. Ten minutes to go. We've seen two goals go in pretty quick, so we don't want that to happen. It's five minutes. I'm going to pause time. We've got three minutes left. Going to switch to the instructions. We're going to play out from defence. We're going to get rid of all this. We're going to go shoot on sight. We're going to go dribble less. Play for set pieces. Be more disciplined. We're going to bomb the tempo, if I can. The uh, passing directness is going to go right up. We want to go long with the ball. We want a time waste like hell. We'll okay that. We're going to go back into the instructions. Out of possession, we want to sit back and just park the bus. Sit back, park the bus, stop crosses, trap on the outside, drop off more, stay on feet. Trigger the press less often. And we're just going to go very defensive. Ignore all that. We've got two minutes to hold out. We've done it. We are champions. Get in there. Here it comes. I've not seen one of these. I have not seen one of these. There's the trophy. There's the, some idiot that works in the national football. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. I can't hold it that long. Champions! Chesson FC, one of the worst teams in the game, especially in the English leagues, are now champions of the Vantarama National South. Next stop, Vantarama National League. If you ask me, man of the match has to go to Casey there. Definitely has to go to Casey. I know the best performer may have been someone else, but that's man of the match for me. Not only did he get the goal, he's performed all season. Uh, he's played when he's been knackered. He's played with played with injuries. He's had to have rests. And he has been there through thick and thin. Um, other, than, other than Casey, I think my next best pick would probably be Winterbottom. They would be my two bo two boys. But Chessent win the Vanarama South. There it is. Chessent will certainly look back at some great wins along the way, with perhaps the most notably including a highly impressive 5-2 dismantling of Slough. An emphatic 5-1 win against Dartford, their 3-2 victory over St Albans, and a comfortable 4-1 humbling of Concord. Despite being considered amongst the leading contenders to win the Vanarama South, manager Matt Gibson has deservedly received the plaudits for guiding the Ambers to title glory. I'm going to pause it just there. At the beginning of the season, I'm pretty certain the media prediction did not have us winning the title. We weren't favourites. We were mid-table. That was everyone saying, we're going to be mid-table. And yet they changed it. So, yeah... Your journalism is useless. 
The Ambers, who constantly defined the odds from the outset and were eventually crowned champions. Key player, Callum Casey. See, I told you. Um, past winners, obviously last year, were Haven and um, they were the last ones. But we are now on that trophy. Uh, where are we? Are we even scratched in there yet? We're not. We should be. We should already be scratched in. Well, until next time. And, oh, hang on, before we leave... Chesson have offered me a new contract. Looks like we're getting a bigger wage budget. We're getting more transfer budget. And they've offered me a new contract. Ooh, interesting. They want us to finish the end of current season. Do you know what? We're just going to start negotiations. What do you want? Another two years? I want, yeah, okay, fine, two years. Media. We're going to go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm happy. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you want, mate. I'm happy. Happy happy, and easy going. Chesson have now turned professional. Well done, the board. With the place in the Vanarama National League assured, it has been officially confirmed that the club will go full-time with immediate effect. In addition, the Chesson board have also increased the amount of staff you are able to hire. Things are looking up. Board are set an initial budget of 21,000 on... The, oh, this is just great. This is great news. This is great news. And there is the trophy itself. We are the winners. Uh, I have no idea what happened between 20 and 21. But um, for the National League South, we're the winners this year. And again, just to rub it in, just to make sure you're all aware of it, Chesson crowned champions. Average goal per match, 2.6. I have no idea who that is. That obviously is on their, t on their team. But, um, yeah, total attendance was 9,958. I didn't think we had a big enough stadium for that. Do we? And the answer to that question is we don't. 2,000 is the capacity. Can anyone explain that one to me? Total attendance, 9,958. That's, that's what it says it right there. How can we have a big attendance, bigger attendance, than the stadium allows? The mind is blown. <sighs> and to end this one, and we really will end it here, um, we're just confirming the signing of another striker, Amari Benjamin. So, uh, or Benjamin, however you want to call him. He's now signed for Chesson. £625 a week. Seems like a bargain, really. Um, he's a solid little guy. If we have a little click on him, you can't see his potentials here. But there's that heart shape that we're all looking for. That's the heart shape you like. He's got bags of speed as well, just like the others. Um, so he's going to do well. And he's also got a little bit of aerial. Not much, but a little bit more than uh, Williams has. So, yeah, he's three caps at the under-21s under, under for the Welsh. It's another Welsh striker. So, um, yeah, I don't know what they're putting in the water in Wales, but they're producing some little diamond strikers for us. Perfect. So, until next time, this is Matty G. We are the champions. Peace out.